So here's the deal. I wanted to like, because like I have all my rings and everything that you gave me. Yeah. And like, I like could not think of a wedding gift because you're a terrible person to shop for. So I wrote all of the reasons that I love you on a dollar to keep in your wallet so that if you ever forget. I have it on a dollar. I didn't write all of them because I couldn't honestly fit all of them. The way that you love your family, the way that you interact and love your students, how you care for the community, about your community, and how you take care of me, how you make, make me feel safe, and you make me feel happy, how you mow the lawn so that I don't ever have to ever again, um, and how you drive always so I don't ever have to drive again. <laughs> um, when we have fun together, and how you always put faith first in our relationship and you know how important it is to me. We'll have to fix your makeup. I know, on. Jess is gonna have to fix it again. Okay, you're gonna just have to turn around. <laughs> you're not crying. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. Um, I know you can. I'll give you a twirl. I know times will not be perfect, times may not always be easy, but in the end, we will always have each other. Thank you for being the most amazing man in the world that I could ever pray for and that I could ever want, and I love you very much. Thank you. Uh, I told you, now we're gonna walk in, I didn't cry, we might as well walk home now. <laughs> Who is presenting this woman to be married to this man? Sometimes things happen in life that aren't your fault, they just happen. But in case you're wondering, Jake, yes, it probably is your fault if something <laughs> happens. 
In such times, it's important to keep a sense of humor. Make sure you invite God to be a part of your lives, a part of your home every day. If you'll invite God to take up residence in your home, he will certainly do his work in your marriage and in your family. I, Jake, take you, Kyla, to be my wife. I, Kyla, take you, Jake, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death parts us. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. And now, Kyla and Jake, we would ask that these beautiful words of loyalty and commitment that we read in the Old Testament book of Ruth, which I believe you shared with Kyla, right? When you proposed? May this scripture always be descriptive of your devotion to each other. Where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Jake, I think you know what part comes next. You may kiss your bride. Over the course of time, the more times Jake would call, it would be less helping him do something and more times of wanting to actually get together and go to a movie or do different things like that. So my relationship grew to more of a brother, so to speak, than just a um, person who he was using for help. <laughs> I'm honored to have grown up alongside of Kyla. Along the way, we shared a lifetime of memories together, becoming more like sisters than cousins. And the, the thing that I think makes me the happiest is that Jake has finally found somebody that makes him happy. Throughout the course of life, there are several different ways to be stuck. Being stuck together in marriage is one of the best ways. To end, I would like to share a piece of marriage advice that involves a little bit of an interactive exercise. Okay, take a good look at your hands. Yep, Jake, this is the last time that you will ever get the upper hand. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Love you guys. One of my biggest fears is growing old, mm -hmm. but with you I am comforted. With you I know I will always have a person to lean on, a person to talk to, and a best friend no matter what. I know no matter what happens I will always have you. 
I love you, Kyla, so much, and I am so excited to grow old with you. Aww.